Okay, this is page 68, problem number two. It says an investor purchases 10 shares of stock for $40 at T0 and five more at $38 at T3. At the end of year one, two, three, four, and five, the company pays $1 per share dividend. And after five years, the investor sells all shares at $42 each. What is the money weighted rate of return of the investment? Remember, the money weighted rate of return simply means what's the IRR. Okay, and I put that right up here. Okay, so CFO, you know that you spent, uh, bought 10 shares at 40 bucks. So you purchased $400 worth of stock. Remember, that's a negative sign. Okay, and then it says at the year, end of year one, two, three, four, and five, you get a dollar per share dividend. Okay, so at the end of year one, you get $10, because 10 shares times one buck. Year two, you get $10. Okay, so those are inflows, remember, because they're dividends. Now it says at the at T3, you buy five more shares at 38 bucks, so that's $190. But you're actually, it seems like you're purchasing that at the end of the period, so you don't really get the dividend for those. But you do get the dividend for the first 10 shares. So that's $10 here, that's a inflow. The $190 paying for the stock is an outflow. So if you add those together, it's actually negative 180 right there. Now you have all 15 shares, the 10 you had here and the five that you just bought. So the next year in period four, you get $15 of dividends. And then at CO5, you sell the shares and you get $42 each. And since you have 15 of them, that's 630 bucks plus the $15 dividends. It says, what is the IRR? And that just works out to be 4.08%. So let's show on the calculator again how we do that real quick. Pretty simple. Now see, I've got the old numbers on here. So second CF, second clear, and second FV. And I just go second clear again always. Okay. So we know that in CFO we have $400 as an outflow because that's what we pay. Remember that's a negative sign and you got to hit the enter. Key down. Now you've got those 10 shares at the end of uh, T1 that you get the dividends for. So that's 10 bucks. See now watch if I hit the arrow. Nothing comes up as FO1. That's because I forgot to hit enter. So $10 enter for period one. The frequency is one. CO2 another $10 because we get the $10 Ten dollar dividend again for the ten shares. Go down. Co three. Now that's where we spent another hundred and ninety dollars on the buying new shares of stock, but we also got a ten dollar dividend. One hundred ninety dollars an outflow, so that's a negative. The ten dollars is an inflow, so that's a positive. So it's a net one hundred eighty dollar outflow. One hundred eighty. Remember the negative sign. You got to get the stuff right. You hit the enter key. That's frequency one. We get fifteen dollars in dividends. Because now we have all 15 shares. Enter. And then the last is, so we shall sell the shares for 630. And we got the $15 in dividend. That's 645. Now that's an inflow to you. So that's positive. Remember these are cash flows. Outflows are negative because it comes out of your pocket. Inflows are positive because it comes in. Okay, 645. Down. So you're done with that. Now go to IRR. It says zero, but that's because you haven't hit compute. Hit compute, and your IRR is 4.08%. That's problem number two on page 68.